Bully is said to be one of the oldest games in America, played by all walks of life. Players were known to gamble all of their worldly possessions over a single round, from blankets and precious stones to their homes and even their family's freedom. The god of art and games, Makwal Shoktal, is considered an active participant in the game, responsible with bestowing offerings upon the winner. So much on the line for a simple game. Some things never do change. How can these shapes be Incan when they look like airplanes? Oh, I see, they're insects of some sort. Archaeology is a very delicate field of study. You have to put yourself in the mindset of people and cultures who died centuries before you were even born. Humans interpret strange phenomena based on what they already know. If the Inca had seen planes, they might have assumed they were some sort of bird. Given that, these shapes may not be insects after all. Some of them look more like fish. Someone's taking this old walkie-talkie apart. Were they making an attempt at reverse engineering, I wonder? Nedsley used to play together all the time, but I haven't seen him around a lot lately. I understand why, I think. He has important things to do, important for all of us here. But I miss him. No one could throw a stone farther across the river. heavy breasted woman wearing serpents around her waist. This is Kwatli Q, whose name literally means skirt of snakes. She's also called Tetio Enan, the mother of the gods. She gave birth to the moon and the stars and had over 400 children, including the sun god, Whitsley Apocli, who was also god of war. In addition to being a mother, she's seen as the devourer of all that lives. It said that she was herself sacrificed to bring about this current age of creation. Thank <laughs> you. 
Come see what I have to trade. Come see what I have to trade. Cabello Cubimba y Cuba. As it was foretold, heralded by the column of flame burning through the night, and the destruction of our temples, and the warnings of the weeping woman and the two-headed man, the strange warriors astride great deer arrived with the rising sun. They murdered the weak leaders and claimed the land and the people as their own. Con el cash, ya lo llanta el Have you met Paimo Ishiki? The fool thinks the gods punished him. <laughs> Blazy bastard. A little advice. Stay out of the wilderness, friend. Something ah. Bash? I found your dice, Taki. Oh, thank you. Didn't you say Pisco stole your dice? Everyone knows Pisco steals. According to him, you wanted to play a game and you lost. He wouldn't let me play again. Just one more roll and I would have won. Pisco wanted you to know. It's not the throw of the dice that wins the game. It's the skill of the player. Now that I have my dice back, I can practice more. Thanks again, Ishiki. Thank you.
Taka of the cult of Kukul Khan vows to tie his coat to that of you two, descendant of the Maya. Lacking any family of his own, each Taka will live with the parents of you two until such time that they have built their own home and hearth. You two vows to tie her coat to that of each Taka. She will bear him many children, which they will raise according to the traditions of both their peoples. <laughs>
riverbanks. Bats and Hoon Chowen were twin brothers, older half-siblings of the more celebrated Maya hero twins. Jealous of their brothers, the monkey twins would always cheat during football matches and ruin them with their aggressive tactics. In retaliation, the hero twins lured them up a tree, a tree which never stopped growing, preventing Hoon Bats and Hoon Chowen from getting down. The hero twins convinced them that they could use their belts to climb down, but this turned out to be another trick, and the belts became tails, turning the elder twins into monkeys. Turn mirror one to the left. Follow the beam of light to mirror two. Direct mirror two across the chamber diagonally. Return to mirror one. These seem to be instructions of some kind, but I can't make out the rest. I must have arrived at the right time. It looks like the cultists were just here. Only the worthy may call upon Kenicha Hal. Use his light to chase the shadows from your hearts in the city itself. honoring the sun. Find a way to lower that central pavilion. (laughs) 
I won't last long if I fall in the water. Can't make it across. I'll have to backtrack. create a path to mirror two.
Maya souls through the underworld and into the sky is directed by two gods. Old Stingray Paddler sits in the back of the canoe and handles the duties during the day, while old Jaguar Paddler sits in the front and takes care of the night shift. These two gods symbolize not only light and darkness, day and night, but also the interdependence of all equal and opposite forces. Need to create a path to mirror one. Make it across. I'll have to backtrack. growing in the harvest. Generally, he was associated with all forms of fertility. He was also in charge of wind, lightning, and rain, which was caused by his tears. He was in charge of preserving springs, wells, streams, cenotes, and other sources of water. Like the aspects over which he presided, he was considered benevolent and caring, but unpredictable. Physically, Shark was depicted as a reptile with hair tangled and unruly knots, and his colors were white, red, yellow, and black representing North, East, South, and West. Thank <laughs> you. 
way out of here.